over by the eye. More than was, then this is Iconoclast towards again. And this time, we're on our way to City One to see Mother, who will hopefully heal Elro, who had his arm torn off by Agent Black. So let's go see if she'll be willing to help a sinner like him. Somehow I doubt she'll be willing to do so, but maybe things will work out. Well, look at this, the pearly gates and whatnot. So you gonna let us in, you old man? This place is lovely. Gatekeeper, Progenarian Pete, blessings of the try upon you. Open the gates for me. I must see Mother. And who are you? Uh, uh, it's Royal. Future medium to the almighty he? Royal has a very plain face. I recognize him by his entourage of soldiers, caretakers. You are bringing with you a mechanic, a cripple, and someone I swear looks like one of the pirates. I wouldn't mind splicing off the... Splicing... A splicing of the main brace at this point. City One is for the purest and devout. Those who truly give everything to Mother, him, and the stars. I know, I live here. How can you not tell who I am by my looks? Hair dye is very popular these days, and so are white clothes, at least inside City One. I don't understand it myself, all these young people trying to look like a cert like a creation rather than actually create something. Creativity is internal. What the hell are you talking about? Just let Magic Man shimmer fingers in. He misses his mother. Shut up! Okay, Gatekeeper. Are you forcing me to display my power? I know who you are, Royal. Unfortunately, Mother has labeled you a sinner, and sinners do not get into City One. You were always arrogant. It is a great thing to be able to tell you that now. Your current power is still not enough to open this gate on your own, and with your sins I doubt he will ever permit them to be. All you kids are arrogant. Go somewhere else. Royal, I won't report you this time. I have this thing here to read. Well, you tried. You keep trying even though there's not a single person treating you well anymore. I kind of want to believe you're genuinely you you're genuinely sincere about helping us in your way. I couldn't take it if mother hated me. I need to hear it from her. Maybe our crafty mechanic here can think up some way to put that gatekeeper gatekeeper in his place and get us in. Oh, I've got an idea. I hope you like getting shot with charged up lasers that switch places with me. Ha! Take that, Pete. Now then, we have gained entry to City One by less than legal means. Come get some power, armor boy. Eh, <laughs> I'm over here now, idiot. Now, I'm not sure if there's any way I can actually harm these power armor guys because they seem to be almost completely invincible and nothing I've ever tried in the past actually hurt them. But I can switch places with them. And here we have City One. Clothing. Hell of a name for a store. Hard to misinterpret. Now what's this thing? Some kind of generator? A heaty thing? A thing that you're not supposed to touch apparently? Judging by that crossed out hand? Well, whatever. What happened to you? I worked so hard for this. I'm finally here. It was all worth it. No more penance. Don't cry, Dad. You did it. We can live safely now. Yeah, as far as you know. At least until Mother ends up trying to kill me for being here again, despite being all sinful and whatnot. And I gotta get around to that door, and the only way to do that is go through here. 
you and your friggin... No, that's a thing I don't want to get... That's a thing I didn't want to get hit by, but I got hit by it anyway. Come on. Stop doing that. Do the thing that I can deflect back at you. There it is. Victory. Of course, I didn't have to kill him, but I wanted to. What is life without a little bit of well-deserved murder? Ow. Hmm. I think I know what I gotta do. Yep. Okay. This works too. That thing has more range on it than I thought it would. Alright. Ah, damn it. Okay, yep. Alright, let's just uh, do that. There we go. Spin the gear. Get that gear all spinny. Okay. Shit. Unreachable from my current position. Now there's a pain in the ass now, isn't it? There we go. Got my way around the door. Now let's go see Mother. She ought to be in here somewhere. Lots of pictures of her everywhere. Nice place, too. It don't look half bad here. Wouldn't mind living here if only I didn't have to be a religious zealot to do so. And I didn't realize I had the bombs on still. There we go. Now let's just find us a key so that I can get on through. Ha! Your grenade ain't reaching me, son! Now... BAM! Oh, I thought you were gonna get stuck in that hole. You know what? It's time to stick you in a hole where you belong! Ha! Idiot! You're trapped now. Have fun with that. I took quite a bit of unnecessary damage, but it was worth it! Now let's get up on through here. And hopefully there's a save statue nearby, cause... Okay, good. I took quite an ass beating, just traipsing around underground like that. Dudes do not take kindly to trespassers, from what I understand. By the try, it's mother. Oh, I'm feeling faint. Money, money! Let me see your beauty, mother. Mother bless me. I'm, I'm so close. Now let's see here. Come on, mother. I'm noticing that ivory fountain in the background. Mother! Royal? You are appearing to the people on, on a common day? Also, ivory fountain in the background. Kinda wasteful. We need that stuff to go power and things and you're up here wasting gallons of it on that fountain. Were, were we not told he was held captive, Mother? Dear Mother, those are are the aggressors with him. Please keep your demeanor, Mother. We can't risk an upset. Mother! My son, I am glad to see you here in City One again. As you can see, I am displaying myself to my other beloved children and listening to their plights. We must talk later. But it is a common day. Royal, listen to Mother. I must finish my tour. Mother, these are the people who have caused all the hush, child. There's nothing wrong. No need to speak. Mother, the one concern has gone mad. They imprisoned me, and only with the help of these people have I been able to return. Oh, how good of your friends. But do calm down and be silent. No need for these things to be said here, my son. What? Did you not hear what I said, mother? The agents are disrespectful heathens, and they need to be dealt with. Now, son, I brought these people with me. This man, Elro, I feel deserves your healing. The least we can do is absolve him of his sin. Wait, absolve him of his sin? Is that all you meant? What do you mean, all? It is almost unheard of. Elro will be able to resume life with a clean conscience. Mother always makes it better. Wasn't your magical mother going to heal his arm or something? 
What? No, I don't think Mother can do that. Maybe if he was put in a transcender, but he would never choose him. I don't give a crap about your brand of sin, and I doubt these two, e these two either. We've gone through a lot, Royal. We've traveled a hundred horizons, left people behind, and killed agents. Now listen. Do not tell such lies here. I'll have these guards take you to the Bastion, where we will discuss things in private. You wish they were lies. Our seeds are the truth. Do not speak like this to Mother! Enough! You will get out of our way, or we will just run you over. Mother! Don't call me that! You are no son to me! You, along with your friends, are the reason for it all coming apart. M Mother, please! But you, Royal, most of all, it is you. Oh, we done pissed off Mother. Do you wonder about these quakes? Is it, it is the death knell for the world, and the crust is dry because of us and the pirates? And now you called upon him, the Star Worm, through your idiocy. Everything's ruined. Your friends ruined all we had prepared for the future. Royal, you have destroyed humanity. Stop saying that. How could I have done that? Because you're an idiot, that's how. Now we're going to have to answer to him without excuses. Why do we need excuses? You never stopped being a dumb child, so why would we ever include you? We had hope. Now there is none. I will go to that rocket. You will stay here and die. <laughs> I, I will not be torn asunder by his wrath. I, I'm more than that. What even are you? You're a person like the rest of us. <laughs> Ha! <laughs> Royal is nothing. No matter what's been done, I was still chosen by him. Fine. If you want to stand in front of me, I will show you how the Divine push back. Enough! Take refuge, my children. Well, this ain't looking good. And now she's got a big stone kitty cat. I am the mother of this earth. You have challenged the very ground you walk on. Well, shit. Yep. Don't get got by that. No, don't let the kitty step on me. Yep. I... I will shoot at you, and I see that ain't doing anything. Yep, you're doing stompies. I don't like the stompies. No, what are you doing? Are you hacking up a hairball? Yep, there we go. Shoot it in the big old mouth. Alright. Now, get down here, lady! Whack, 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 whack. There you go, that's how we do this. Oh boy. You get, you done when you stepped on me. Elro's just slowly pacing around. Hey, come on, lady. No, that's a big boulder. Yep. I uh, can't let boulder go hitting the ground. Whack! Alright. Come on, get down here. Help, oh, you're doing the jumpity stompity. And now, when are you gonna open your mouth cannon so I can shoot it? Here it comes. Oh, I gotta duck under that. There you go. Now let's get you down here and I'll beat your face in with a wrench. Haha. -ha. It also seems like Mina's walking up and punching her right in the mouth. That's gotta feel good. I'd imagine it's helping me in some way. Come on, damn you, get down here! And don't go doing that. That's a thing that I don't like. Uh-oh. I'm kinda in a corner here. Why you gotta put me up in the corner like that? Oh, I picked up heart. I'm good, I'm not dying here. You ain't gonna get me, lady! Hurry up and bring out that face cannon. All right, there we are. Now, if this thing would cool down already, there. You come down here, whack, 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 and shooty shoots. 
I almost got you. Yeah, I can't really tell because my face is blocking the health bar up in the top right corner. So, there's that. And, uh-oh. Yep, I done got pounced on by a big ol' angry kitty. Of course. Well, that's something I should probably be able to jump over if I use those nuts up on the lamp posts. But I wasn't using them properly. Uh-oh, there comes another. I have been bouldered, but it's fine. That little heart makes everything better. Uh, okay, more hearts for me. And now, here comes that. And, uh, all right, hurry up and die. Now, let's get you down here, lady. Whack, whack, whack. Booyah. Mother has been defeated. No more rock kitty for you. <laughs> Mother! Get away from me. What's happening to me? <laughs> Methinks you're a little bit sick there, Mother. I, I can't heal. Lord, please. What did you do to Mother? We... we defended ourselves. Please don't die, Mother. I'm sorry. Mother doesn't die. Just incredible. Oh, it's Chrome. You! You and your soldiers are not permitted in this city. How did you enter? I have been given a path in these dire times, my son. I see you all again, even you, Elro, but I'm not surprised. Cowards excel at staying alive. What are you doing? Step away from her. Oh, mother dear. You are the mother of the people. Did you lose yourself keeping secrets? He has seen it fit to inform me of the things gone awry. There's no divinity in you! As you minded the planet, as you mind the planet dry of its ivory, you decided against change. You decided against offering yourself for your sins to save people. You were going to leave us all, bringing only those that only know how to bend a knee. But he knows all, and he knows how to amend. Please help. It, it hurts. Don't worry. You'll die. So, people of City One, your mother has lost her way, and now she has been forsaken by him. How else could mother have seen such defeat at the hands of these people? The world is dying and her fear made her want to leave you with its demise. Ivory holds everything together, but the ivory in this earth has almost entirely evaporated. <sighs> it is time. May he take mother now as her true heir stands before her. Uh, is something supposed to be happening? Yes, he will definitely. <laughs> you, mother. Oh yes, she has become a tree. Hallelujah. He has been kind enough to make a monument to the great past deeds of mother. That's not what happened. May we treasure it always. But all is not lost, for I am here. I am the new chosen. Even royal here has been forsaken. Uh, I told you, shut up! I will meet with him high atop the bastion and plead for you all. You don't touch the general! It looks like we got a civil war breaking out here.
So, what's the body count? Oh, not even gonna tell us, are ya? Well, mother has been killed. And we started a civil war in City 1. Progress! This, this has gone a bit far, hasn't it? I've gone too far. Mother! Is this the world, is the world really ending because of ivory use? So much is happening at once. Was mother and her faith right? My people probably shouldn't have mined all those ivory pustules in the waterbeds. Did I ever read about anything like this in the holy records of my people's ancestors? Maybe we read something wrong? Yeah, maybe. They're fighting out there. Can we hold out in here? Where are we anyway? I think this might be the bastion. It's the only thing that makes any sense to me. What is it? I'm about to head up on in here, and yes, this is the Bastion. We're gonna head up inside the Bastion and see if we can't find Chrome, and maybe smack him upside the head with a wrench a few times. In the next episode, because I'm all out of time for this one, so thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching. Hope to see you again in the next one. Yeah. Bye!